Hey y'all, Steve here with Adventure Outdoors, and today I want to show you a little product that I just got in the mail from Amazon, my favorite place, of course, probably yours too. But we're gonna go over the Granite Gear Dry Sack. Did he just say dry sack? Now this is my second Granite Gear. It's a compression dry sack. I like the first one so much that I decided to get a second one. I tried a couple other bags, didn't like them that much, and I've gone back to the Granite Gear. So this one just came to me, so let's open it up and let's show you, I'm gonna show you why I like it so much. Now here's the first one that I got. This one I have stuffed inside it, a Nemo sleeping bag, and I had a second sleeping bag and therefore I needed a second bag. So this is what this little compression sack is gonna look like. I'm gonna open this bag just to show you how it looks. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this particular sleeping bag right here. We're gonna stuff it inside this Granite Gear compression sack. Now at the time of the video, these sacks run about $39 on Amazon. So let's open it and see what you get here. Just a little, little ditty bag. There's nothing much to that. Probably won't use it for this or I'll use it for something else. Now this is the large, this 25 liter, okay? It's got the roll top enclosure, obviously, and then you simply just buckle it. After you get everything stuffed inside, and there's a feature that I really like about this bag, and let's get the sleeping bag stuffed inside and I will show you that particular feature. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and roll up the sleeping bag first, fold it in half and roll it because all the down and everything in there just holds so much air. So it's a whole lot easier to go ahead and get whatever air you can get out. And then I basically get it all just stuffed in there nice. All right, now we've got the initial stuff in of the sleeping bag. And now I'll show you where this, where I think this bag really shines and why I like it so much. Well, I think this next part's better if I just do it on the floor. So it's just like any other roll top enclosure. Go ahead and start pushing some air out of it. Roll it a little bit. Just take your time, don't try to force it out. Just, just let your body weight, just kind of lay on it. And what is happening, and the reason that I like this bag so much is the fact that here on the bottom, when I'm pushing, it's letting air out of the bottom and not back up through the roll top so I can just continue to apply a little bit of pressure and the air that's in there is escaping the bottom. So that's pretty decent right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this buckle and put the top on with the straps. So now I can use these compression straps to actually help me further. So 
So at this point in time, if you want to go ahead and put even more squeeze on it, make it even more compact, you can now just press down, use your compression straps to assist you. And now you have a very compact little waterproof bag for your gear. And in my case, I've got the basically the same sleeping bag in both of these. And I've even compressed this one right here down even further than that one. But these are high quality. I like the way they look. They seem to be well made. I tried another bag, similar bag. I didn't like it as much. I returned it and got these. So the granite gear, compression dry sacks. Yeah, I got to give them a thumbs up. Plus another feature that I really like about these bags, they're great for working out. Oh. Oh. 